Good morning, friends. Welcome to Finance Video Academy. Today we would discuss Trainer Ratio. Before we discuss Trainer Ratio, it's very important to understand what are the inputs required to calculate Trainer Ratio. I would try to keep it as simple as I can. If you look at the first box, it shows RP and RF. What is RP? What is RF? RP is Portfolio Return or Asset Return. And RF is risk free rate, or you can say it is the treasury rate. Second is beta. Second box that you see shows beta. Another name for beta is systematic risk, non diversified risk or market risk. What does beta indicate? It tells you how sensitive your portfolio is to the market movements. This is also known as in inherited risk. Now, what is this inherited risk? the risk that cannot be eliminated by diversifying the portfolio. You would read a very important note here. If stocks beta is 1.3, then it would mean it is 30% more riskier than the market. You might be thinking what this market is. It could be any index for people living in US. It could be SNP, SNP 500 for people living in India. It could be nifty or sensex depending on what portfolio you are handling. If it's a large cap portfolio, S&P 500 could be the benchmark. If it's a small cap portfolio, Russell, 3, Russell 2000 could be the benchmark. At the bottom of the screen, you would see Trainer Ratio is also known as Reward to Volatility Ratio. People appearing for professional exams, they should really learn this thing. This could be part of your exam that what is the what is another name for Trainer Ratio? It's Reward to Volatility Ratio. Moving ahead. It's important to understand this formula. It's very simple. It's RP minus RF. What we learned in the first box, right? Divided by beta of the portfolio. Beta is something that we looked at in the second box. RP minus RF divided by beta of the portfolio. A very simple example that I would like to share. Assume return for the portfolio is 12%. A risk free rate or treasury rate is 7%. Beta for the portfolio is 0 0.9. Calculating the ratio, I would put RP, which is 0 0.12, minus RF, which is 0 0.07. I would divide it by beta of the portfolio, which is 0 0.9. The answer that I get is 0 0.6. You need to know that higher the trainer ratio, better it is. Assume there are two portfolios, one with Trainer ratio of 0 0.6 and then there is one more portfolio with trainer ratio of 0 0.8. If you have a client, where would you invest clients money in 0 0.6 trainer ratio portfolio or 0 0.8 trainer ratio portfolio? Obviously you would go with 0 0.8. This was a simple example of trainer ratio. Then there are other ratios as well to analyze the performance of mutual funds. These ratios are Sharpe ratio, information ratio, Sortino ratio. If you want to learn about these other ratios, then I would request you to look at my other videos. Thank you very much. If you liked this video, subscribe to the channel. Have a great day ahead.